Okay, next question is from Carla. Carla says, hi Jesse. hey Carla. I want to know what type of ab workouts I can do to help heal the ab separation I have after pregnancy. It's not too big of a gap in my abs, but I want it to heal properly instead of making it worse. Thank you. You can see my ab separation from pregnancy. My belly button herniated. It's just permanently stuck out now. <laughs> Doctor said I could fix it. I can fix the gap and fix that herniated belly button, but after I'm done having babies, and I want like 20 more, so I'm just gonna wait on that. Here's what I did though. So. The worst thing you can do after pregnancy, once you're cleared to work out again, is to get in the gym and just start doing crunches. So you want to avoid crunching type of ab exercises, all the traditional ab exercises where you're just doing crunches. You don't want to do this. You don't need weighted ab exercises yet. You want to focus on any kind of ab exercise that you're able to focus on during the entire exercise, taking your navel and pulling it towards your spine. So. Whatever exercises you can come up with where you think about the front of your core, your navel, and pulling it, trying to get your belly button to touch your spine. That's the feeling I want you to have. So I want you to pull that in, suck your stomach in, and take it a step further. So it's not just sucking your tummy in. Once you've done that, then really work even harder to get that belly button to touch the spine. And you'll start feeling that inner corset kind of all come together once you do that. So suck your tummy in, like you do right before a picture, <laughs> and then take it a step further and really pull it in even more. You'll feel those muscles contract. You'll feel your navel, your navel get closer to your spine, and you'll start understanding what it feels to work that inner corset, and that's gonna pull everything together. Um, exercises that I love practicing that on are planks. So I'm a big plank girl. If you pay attention to all of my stuff, I don't do a lot of ab training days. I don't do 500 steps every single day. I do a lot of planks. So if I'm if I am training abs that day, it's usually me doing a weight workout, another muscle group, and then I add in planks afterward. So that's a biggie for me. So other exercises where you can work on pulling that navel in during the ab exercise are uh, laying on your back and doing flutter kicks with your feet. The whole time you can breathe and work on sucking that tummy in and uh, pulling that navel in toward your spine. What else do I like? Bicycle abs. You can lay on your back and do the bicycle abs elbow to knee. And the whole time you're contracted, you're not letting go and crunching, letting go and crunching. You're contracted the whole time working and you can pull and work on that belly button going in toward your spine the whole time you're doing bicycle crunches. So practice those. It's really just about sucking your stomach in and then really bringing everything together. So even if you have to put your hands on your tummy, suck your stomach in, and then as you suck in even harder, and that, like just go like this. I know it's not doing anything, but just go like this and it'll you know remind you that everything just needs to stay really tight and really together in there. So that's what will help over time bring that gap together. It won't heal it 100%, but it'll certainly make it better and uh, won't be such an issue.